Xbox Game Pass is full of video games to enjoy, some not so much, and I'm here to tell you whether or not these games are worthy of your time and your hard drive space. I truly believe that you only need about two hours with a game to truly know whether you'll see it through, and that's exactly what these reviews are all about. I test these games out so that you don't have to. Although full disclosure, I did finish this one. Let's take a look at Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. <laughs> Now this really is the deciding category with all reviews. With regards to Wo Long, is this just another Souls-like game to add to the ever-growing list, or have Team Ninja successfully put their own spin on the genre? I'm happy to tell you that they've succeeded, and they've succeeded well. It takes the faster pace of the Neo series, borrows the deflecting system from Sekiro, and of course the occasional difficulty spikes from all Souls-like games and throws them all together to create a cocktail of genuine fun and enjoyment. From the very first satisfying deflection to the very last, Wolong's combat is an absolute joy. You'll use spirit gain from successful offense and defense to gain the upper hand with special attacks and the use of spells, and with each victory, use your XP to level up your fully customized character in just five different attributes, which, compared to recent Souls likes, is refreshingly low. Now sure, the platforming can be a little on the rough side at times when traversing the game world, but even so, getting yourself into a high position to land a killer blow on an enemy below is always satisfying. I always look forward to a video game soundtrack. A good one can really enhance the story, feel, and the gameplay. Wolong is a mixed bag. There are some decent tracks in here, but on occasion, these are repeated several times throughout the game. Nothing is necessarily bad, but having a variety from start to finish would have been nice. If you happen to play this game in English, the voice acting will not blow you away. I recommend going authentic on this one and going with English subtitles instead. On a positive note though, the sound design of the game itself is on point, particularly in combat. The sound of a successful deflection still rings through my ears. The graphics themselves are pretty good, not like what you've already seen in the likes of Sekiro and fellow Souls-like games. The enemy designs are well done, but as the game progresses, you'll soon realize that a copy and paste approach has been adopted. A little variety, especially in the last few chapters of the game, would have been welcomed. The game worlds are where I think this game shines in this category. There's a lot on offer, from the beautiful hidden village to the snowy, bloody battlefield of Hulaguan Pass. You certainly get a mixture of locations to explore. I was surprised to see a nice amount of replay value within Wo Long. On top of the mainline story where you'll collect seemingly endless supplies of loot, you also have access to sub-battlefields which can either include a singular boss fight or a special stage area, a condensed version of a main battlefield within the main story. You'll gain special loot from these areas and honestly, they were quite fun to play through. A welcome break from the depth of the main battlefields. As is always the case with these types of games, there is also a new Game Plus mode offered, here known as the Rising Dragon Difficulty, which will easily give you another 30 plus hours of content to push through. Of course, the difficulty spike is vast, but if you're up for the challenge, it's well worth an attempt. Should this be a game that takes center stage in your Xbox Game Pass library? Yes, it absolutely should. Xbox has done a great job securing this for the service and you should take full advantage of that. Is it perfect? No. But it's some of the most fun I've had in a video game in some time and in a world where Xbox has been waiting for regular wins with their exclusives or day one Game Pass releases, this one may just be setting the platform on the right path once again. If you've enjoyed this video and you would like to see more Xbox Game Pass reviews over the coming months, then please drop a like on this video. And hey, feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. We have plenty of games to work through in this ever-growing list of games within this service. So watch this space, enjoy Game Pass, enjoy Wolong Fallen Dynasty, and I'll catch you on the next one.